In this video, we're going to take a look at how to use a choice limit add-on for Google Forms. And what a choice limiter does is it allows you to change the settings of a form to remove any given answer choice for a question based on the number of form responses. So depending on how you're using that form, that could be after one person has selected that answer choice, it could be 10, 20, however many as you need. So for this video, we're going to use the choice limiter for parent teacher conference sign up. So here you can see I have some basic, just a basic form that I've used in the past, just some basic information, how we're meeting. And then here in my last question, I have set up 15 minute time slots for my parent conferences. And like all parent conferences, I can only have one family in the room at a time. So what I want to happen with this form is I want that answer choice or any given answer choice to be removed once a family has completed the form and selected that time slot. So to make this happen, we're going to start by installing the add-on. To do that, you're going to select the three dots in the top right corner and go to Get Add-ons. Now to filter results, the easiest thing to do is to come over to approved for you and we're going to search choice limit. And it should be the first one that pops up. It's kind of this purplish choice eliminator option. And so when you click that, if yours says uninstall here, you already have this add on installed so you can skip these next couple of steps. I'm going to go ahead and install since this is my first time. It is going to ask to connect to your Google Drive, so we'll go ahead and allow connection. We'll click continue. Take a moment and read over what you're giving access to in your Google Drive, and then we'll select allow. Now that should return you to your Google Form. It'll take a minute to finish installing. I'll select done and close the window. And that should pop up over here. Sometimes it takes a moment for this little side menu for the add-on to pop up. Now, if you're using a brand new form in the future or you create a new form a week from now, this little menu won't pop up automatically, but you'll be able to locate it under your add-ons icon, which is the little puzzle piece. And you'll select choice eliminator and then a box will pop up where you just click start and that'll pop this menu up. So over here, you can see that I have all of my questions actually are showing up in this box, but I'm only wanting to restrict the parent teacher conference times. So what we're doing is we're setting a number limit based on each answer choice. So all of those answer choices are going to pop up. Now, in theory, I could set a different limit for each answer choice. So if you were using a form for club sign up or something like that, where different answer choices could handle different limits, you can set those individually or up here at the top, because every answer choice, every time slot can only handle one family. I'm just going to limit to one response and that will change all of them at the same time. I'm going to look up here to make sure that my changes have saved just to make sure that everything's taken into effect. So at this point, I can minimize this menu. So now what would happen is I would send my form out to parents. So here's my form. We'll take a minute and complete it. I'll be my own parent. And let's sign up for the 2 o'clock to 2.15 time slot. Okay, so that parent has signed up. So what should happen now when another parent comes to complete the form, if they come down to the answer choices, notice that the 2 o'clock to 2.15 time slot is gone. So they'll have to sign up for a different time slot. And that's all there is to it. So if you have any questions, reach out to your ITF and we'll be happy to help you get started with the Choice Eliminator add-on.